BGMA has got about, let me just say we have about six iconic events or phases. So the very first is the call for entries where we open up for people to submit um, their works and it's usually between in the, in the month of January, so from the very first day of January to the 31st of January. And then after which we'll have um, the board go through submissions that have come through and then select people who are qualified or people who fit the bill to become nominees. This is now announced at the nominees announcement party. And then um, before the nominees announcement party, we usually also have the doors open for unsung artists. So that our sound artist is usually powered by the fans. So the fans basically select who they feel needs a shot on Ghana's biggest music night, that's a VGMA night, and they do so by tagging their favorite artists, and then we select, uh, we select them, and of course give the opportunity to perform on biggest, the biggest night, that's a VGMA main night. So after the nominees announcement, we now go for the nominees jam. Um, we believe VGMA is powered by the over 28 million fans, so we usually reach out to people or to the fans in different regions and then give them a music celebration of a lifetime. So that's where we carry some of our artists there to give us a jam and it's usually for free and then uh, we give them a great celebration out there. So um, <clears throat> sometimes it's, we, have, we happen to do it twice or it can be once, depends on what the program calls for. And then after which we um, we have the call for votes, and then the call for votes, everything culminates into we working on to the main awards night. Prior to the main awards night, we have the VGMA Music Business Seminar, which usually is about two days to the event, where we discuss pertinent issues about the um, industry. The, the key thing here is that we don't really have a school for <laughs> business or the business of music. So this is how we can, or we usually, this is the means by which we usually use to address some of the pertinent issues of the industry. And then, of course, Music's Biggest Night, that's the main VGMA night, where we have the red, the red carpet experience where the Slay Kings and Queens come and write their statements all over. And then, of course, we have the main awards presentation, um, um, no, where we honor those who deserve to be honored. And then we have the music, <coughs> music performances by artists who are on top of their game. And then after that, we have the celebrations jam where we use the platform to say thank you on behalf of the organizers, on behalf of those who have won, and of course, Vodafone for being a part of this celebration or for making it possible. So essentially, this is more or less what we go through. Uh, you will probably have some vibrations here and there depending on what it is. But throughout this process, you may have a word or two to say. There may be things that you'd like to address. So this particular meeting is meant to facilitate that. And so um, I would have the executive director of executive director and CEO of Charter House say a few words and then we can begin this conversation. Hello, good afternoon. And um, welcome to today's event. Um, thank you, Robert, for taking us through what we are going to do today. Um, I see um, a lot of new faces. That shows you how old I am now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see a lot of new faces, but I also see some very familiar ones, like Halifax. It's been a long time. I've yeah, talked for some You see? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so good to see you again. Um, don't worry, we like the trouble. <laughs> That's what makes us better. So I'm happy to see a new a next generation of media personalities um, from uh, from when we started. I mean, the, the scene has changed greatly, has changed drastically. Um, as you know, last year we celebrated our 20th anniversary. So the scheme is um, it's quite old. I mean, 20 years. I mean, we are entering adulthood. You know. So this, this edition is actually our 21st year. And um, it's um, actually also coincidentally, um, February, the 9th February is our 20th anniversary as a company as well. So um, it's really an exciting time for us. Oh, you didn't clap for us. Yeah. 
um, foster strong relationships with the UK um, market and um, that she will provide an, an entry to the market through a sort of a collaboration. So we said, listen, this is Ghana, this is Ghana Music Awards. We've come this far, we've done so much, and our musicians have done such a great job. Ghana, has, Ghana is the next level in African music. Come and see what we can do. Come and see what we have to offer. Unfortunately, the night did not end very well, as we all are aware. And it kind of um, just threw a damper on everything, all the efforts. I mean, when you had diplomats carrying out for safety and all of that, I mean, it was just a very terrible anticlimax to all the efforts that had gone through. And um, of course, after that, yeah, there was a lot of uh, some actions were taken, and there was a whole lot of fury and all of that. So we just felt that it was right that when we are about to roll out this year, we, we do our usual exercise and just take feedback, take opinions. Of course, with that incident in mind, as well as the general scheme, so we could rebuild the event and move forward. Um, we see the next decade. We don't see the next year. We see the next decade, and the next two decades, and the next three decades, and that's how we think. So actually, whatever we are discussing and um, deliberating here, it's really towards defining the, the, the future of the scheme looking into the next decade. So please think, think beyond just the next year, or think beyond um, the event, as in, this is the event, just think as in Ghana, the future of Ghana's music industry and the platform that exposes them to the world and how big should it get, what, how far should it reach, what should it, what should it do for the musicians, I mean, just think, I mean, what is the future of the event, we just want you to help us to design it and um, we promise you that we will put down all your all your feedback. We're not here to respond and to answer and to argue, no. We are here to listen. We are just listening. So please don't feel restricted or limited. Um, yeah, just express yourself, express your thoughts. And where we feel that there are uh, mis this, um, misinformation, we'll just clarify. But really, we are here to listen and just clear up a few issues and share our thoughts in particular areas with you as well. So um, we'd like to get the ball rolling right away. Thank you very much. My name is Kwame Dazi from City of City TV. Um, last year, the award ceremony was held at the, the dome near the conference center, right? Um, we had, what's the name? Grand Arena. Grand Arena, okay. We had, we had difficulty in seeing what was happening on stage because of the sitting arrangement. Some of us had to crane or either stand on chairs to see what was happening. Are we going to hold this year's ceremony? At the same venue, and what preparations are we put in place to correct that? And another question that I want to ask has what to do with um, Shatawali and Stoneboy's incident. Now, this has become a very critical issue on the minds of people. There are a lot of people out there who have some sort of misconception about the VGMA as well as this particular incident as a company, as an event company, do you have any plans, any strategies in place to clear that all those misconceptions before this year's ceremony kicks off? My question is about the call for entries. Um, I took the, I got a chance, I always uh, follow chat hours via social media, so I mostly get the notification. So I copied the, the artwork and I put it out on my timeline, like the call for entries are, and people kept asking me, is it true? Is it really happening? So I don't know how far you are really pushing this, because it's like, even from the main source itself, people don't see it from there that much. So I don't know if at this juncture, if today's 23rd of January and the uh, call for entry ends on 31st. So I don't know how far people are really believing that this thing is really happening or not. Thanks for the questions. I'm happy, I'm happy with the response. Um, well, Stoneboy and Shatawale be readmitted in the scheme. And then, we, and then um, just to follow up on the other one, how do we plan to clear up the air on the incident that took place last year? Um, the answer to that is um, what we are doing here today is part of structuring the... What we are doing here today is part of um, structuring our response. 
we are taking insights. So I will actually throw it back to you and ask you what are your suggestions. So I'll so I'll throw it back to you so that when you, it comes back to the table, you give us some insights. We are taking insights today. So tell us what you think about the incident and what you suggest. So I will really we're very happy to hear from you on that. We haven't taken a decision on that yet because that decision was taken by the last board. A new board has been reconstituted for this year, and we are we yet to meet as a board, as a new board. But before we meet, we wanted to do this session so we could go back to the table with all the insights. And then we can now come out with our um, decisions on the way forward. So that we don't just sit in again, sit in the room as a few people and just decide. But we would go back with the insights and take it. So we don't have a ready answer for that question here, but we want to hear from you on your thoughts regarding that. I believe with this year's VGMA, they shouldn't be added to the bill. However, they should play a role, the role educating the youth that violence does not pay, gun crime does not pay. They can do a little video that will be played at the VGMAs talking about what happens. No one is about the law. What happens when you use guns? What happens when you use violence? And I think that will put VGMA in the right light. If you add them to the bill, people will be happy. However, you'll also be criticized for endorsing violence. And I don't think your brand has lasted 20 years because of that. It's lasted because of its ethics and what it stands for. And I think you should uphold your ethics and actually take them out of the scheme. However, let them take part in educating the youth about violence and gun crime. So that's my suggestion.